revising rate of change. <coughs> These three questions, rate of change. Uh, for question one, they told you the rate of Y with respect to X. That means dy dx. Question two, again, is the rate of y with respect to x. Question three, the rate of height, you, they didn't say with respect to, but the question like is changing with time, dh dt. Guys, finish these three questions. Send me. Message me the answer. Message me the answer, guys. Okay. This rate of change, you just need differentiate and the substitute value of X or some question is T. Right, into the derivative. That's why the first one dy dx 6x, but x equals 5, so 30. 30. The second one, 3x squared minus 2, x equals negative 3, 25. Next one. Try to finish next one. Oh.
phdt four plus one over ten t t equals thirty seconds. So seven here the unit really important. Everybody on uh, all of you guys got seven, but check what's the unit. H is in meters, T is in second. So what's the unit? DH DT like H over T or change in H over change in T. So the unit should be meter per second. The first two questions, there's no unit on, there's you no know unit. Okay. Move on. <clears throat> the question getting harder. Yeah. All the questions here. First, we check the question on the left. Okay, uh, all rate of change.
Question four. Okay, there is a variable v, the rate of v with respect to h, so dv dh. 100 plus 0.024h. Okay, they give you h equals 8. Oh. So it's a hundred point one nine two. Katie, what's the unit here? Hello, Katie, what's the unit here? You don't need to simplify the unit. They told you milliliter. Uh -huh. yeah. Millimeter by milliliter? Milliliter per millimeter. Like here. <laughs> okay. Milliliter per millimeter. That will be number four, huh? Sam? Yep. Milliliter is a millimeter cube, right? No. Milliliter is one cm cubed, which is a thousand millimeter cubed. So if you need to simplify one milliliter over, you don't have to, uh, one millimeter What's that? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's, um, you can write thousand millimeter cubed over one millimeter. So it's a thousand millimeter squared. If you have to, you don't have to. In this question, we always just copy KT idea like this. Sometimes we have this case on uh, V is in meter cubed. H is in meter. So dV dH, you can really just write m cubed over m. You don't need to simplify it on. You don't have to simplify it. Okay? You don't need to simplify it. Ethan, okay? Okay. Thank you, you don't need to simplify the unit. Because cause in NCEA, we focus on the math part, not the science part. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> question five. If you fully understand this part, you can simplify. No? But yeah, even in, in the exam, you don't need to simplify. Question five. Yep, five A, B, C.
You know the question about the area of circle? So area equals pi r squared. But they ask you to read with respect to r, the rate of area, the rate of the change of area. Two pi r. What's the value of the rate of change if i equals four? I equals four. Okay, we got eight pi. Very good. See the rate of change equals sixteen pi. R equals eight. Very good. This question still no unit. You just say eight unit. Okay. Um. Very good, Carl. Mm. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. You got hundred point one nine two, but the unit a bit confusing. Oh. The unit here quite annoying. Finish six and seven. Make sure you got the correct unit. Good. Uh, dv dx equals 3x squared and x equals 8. So, 192. A, what's the unit? V is in cm cubed. 
cm cubed over cm. You can say cm squared. Uh, this is easy one. You can simplify it. Uh, question seven. A area of a square. Oh, a equals x square. So dA dx equals two x. So a two point five. So four point eight. Yo, it's cm square over cm. So just cm b. Oh, that means x equals six. For B, uh, if A area equals 36, X will be 6. So the answer is 12 cm. For C, the rate equals 38. So X equals 19 cm. B. Area equals x squared, 361 cm squared. Uh, B is 12 on x equals 6, but they ask you the rate, calculate the rate of change. So you need to calculate dA dx. Okay, you need to calculate the dA dx. <clears throat> okay, ah, uh, yeah, that's the several questions. Okay, um. Hey, the question a bit harder now. <clears throat> Eight, nine, ten. So the rate of change here, pretty easy, uh. The rate of it. Yeah. Where, eh? Where is the rate of change? Which page we are? Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this rate of change is very easy. Oh, very easy. Okay, now we check uh, kinematics. Kinematics. <clears throat> 